So Woolen Gabba itself has a very wide, varied history. Its primary purpose was to service the coal trains that came down from the John Darien area and brought coal down to the wharves of Brisbane. Given that it was a typical rail yard, it had all the typical characters and job types that you would see for that period of time. Locomotive drivers, it had locomotive firemen, it had locomotive cleaners that kept the, the steam engines alive in between the different jobs. But most importantly, there's the, the people that ring the bell. They're the people that used to keep their trains safe from the cars so that they could crisscross their way back to the network and join up at uh, Dutton Park Station. I learned a lot in this depot in, in becoming an engineman for the short period that I did do it. To be an engine driver, you had to start as an engine cleaner. You had to be 17 years of age. And then you sort of progressed from engine cleaner to fireman and then on to driver. It's awesome to think that rail is back here, you know, serving Brisbane and the community. Uh, basically, I was a, an unofficial visitor, I might say. Quite often we dawdle through the area to look at the different locos and the carriages that were stored in the area. And it seemed to be there was no problem with it, provided we behaved ourselves, which we did. And quite often the railway people would be quite happy to assist us in giving us a little bit of history. When we were uh, doing some excavating, we found a number of items. One was a drop pit. There was also two turntables. Uh, of the original turntable, we found the concrete base. That was replaced in uh, 1921 by a very unique turntable by Queensland standards. It was on timber trestles. One of the other things we found uh, at the site was the base of a water tower. And the water tower is what uh, the locomotive needs to get water once it's about to go and do another job from the tank into its tender. And right beside all that was the ash pit. Before the engine would be put away at night, it was the cleaner's job to sift the fire and put the ash down inside the ash pit. Inside that ash pit is where we found all the remains of a fireman's shovel, a rake, which is what the fireman would use to manipulate the coal that's inside the firebox, some old sleepers, which seemed like it had been put there as a bit of a time capsule for someone to find in years to come, and we found it. The yard's demise occurred because people started to drive. Deliveries of freight along that corridor were being taken down by truck and coming back by truck. It's when the government wanted to use part of the land for the Southeast Freeway. So it had its peak and it had its troughs. And interestingly now, here we are putting another railway station back where it used to be. Mm -hmm.